Now then, prepare yourself for something truly mind-blowing. MP has changed. Just look at this. The pupa of MP is luminous under UV light. It's quite astonishing. I'm having to talk quietly because it's about half past midnight. I'm in the garden. MP changed, finally changed into a pupa this past week. A very lengthy process. Slower than all the larvae that I've had before. But isn't this just absolutely remarkable? I pull the torch away a bit. Why it should be like that, I have no idea. But look at little Empy now. The pupa is quite remarkable anyway. Empy spent a lot of time on this leaf prior to pupation. It was at least five days, if I remember right. Two of those days he was on the underside of the leaf facing upwards. And then eventually, after two days, on the third day, he turned round and face downwards and started the pupation process but it took another three days and it was the fourth actually when he finally transformed into the pupa all the while in silhouette you could see the shape of MP change into a more elongated version of this incredible pupa Just incredible. It's marvellous, isn't it? Why would a pupa do this or be like this? It's probably not the only one, but I'm pretty sure it is in the UK. Consequently, it makes the pupa quite easy to locate by UV torchlight on a night time. During the daytime they're so well camouflaged that they're very hard to find. It's just an incredible thing. So we've got another couple of weeks, I imagine, before MP emerges triumphant as either an emperor or an empress.